Sean, sir, all this pain to my kids, so they feel how I feel. Pain me my bitter, so me live nigga on the spot. Drink every day, smoke liquor, hurt inside, but my smile by the bitch, with their happy make a difference. Hard cold like cement, they might talk some defense. Father, forgive me and help me so I can forgive them. Listen to the words, them real. Show me your blessings, I can deal. Cause I know how the chance are all it's been to my kids. Been through so much that I don't show the world. Teach our kids this, know your heart. Bleed the blood of Jesus Christ over your kids before you go out. Catch quack, oh boy, no catch his shirt. My kids are my joy and my pride. I will fight, I will climb, I will dive. The future will bright in the darkest time of the night. And the spot you survive. I don't give no one authority to speak over your life. You will strike like the sun in the sky. You will rise, you will rise. They are made with bones of weakness and tongue with lies. You're the gift, you're the prize. They go low, you go high. Know your valley, cause they can't pay their price. So listen to the words, they more real. Show me your place, I can heal. Smoke every day. I don't wind up. Still, I try to elevate to mass of pain. Pain. Can you wait a tears falling? Can you see the tears falling to mass the pain on the spot? I am a layer. So, we are trying to master pain above ground. So, we are master pain. Jamaica, so we are master pain. Show me a place I can heal. Cause I know what a chance I had this pain to my kids so they feel how I feel. Heal. Oh no. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night on the spot. Wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right. Y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Friday morning to each and every person out there tuning in to On The Spot News Media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please, like the video. Share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything that I'll be speaking of. Now, uh, to the name Friday, the day when Mr. Smile smiled upon some of the ones and ones in pocket. So wherever you are, right across Jamaica from Moran Point to Negril Point, whilst traversing the streets, you don't know, safe travel, pan the gravel, and as always, continuously look out on the corner of Kazwa. The old dirty corner boy them, always out there, alerts, yeah man. So the first story that we are going to talk about, we are going to do a revisit for the knockings and clappings that took place over the weekend that claimed the lives of four. We are talking about the eight-year-old presently on your screen who has since been identified as BJ Dawes. And his family member, this man presently on your screen, known as Joel, but more affectionately called in the streets as Cam Cam. And right after that, Karma would have been swift in its actions as the two knackis and clappies that took the life of the 80-year-old child and Joel was taken out by their own cronies and dumped in the vineyard town 
community. Now, we have to revisit a topic like that. Because as I've always stated in previous vlogs, it is not always as how it meets the eye. Sometimes things run way deeper than we actually think. And this particular incident is one such. Now, the star, the Jamaica star, did this interview with the mother of DJ, or should I have said BJ, that's the eight-year-old child, and also a parent of the intended target, and also the mother of Joel, whose name, by the way, is Bev. I specifically call Bev name for reasons that I will speak about further on in this broadcast. Now, the Jamaica star did a really tearful type of interview because even when I watched it myself and heard the mother's cries, that's the mother of the eight-year-old, it definitely touch a certain part of your heart a certain way away. You definitely are going to feel it for the mother. Because you don't know she lose her child. So the pain where she feel is definitely real. So for those who have not yet watched that Jamaica Star interview, go over on their channel on YouTube and look for this one presently and watch it so you can get a better feel and understanding. But... Pay particular attention to the last part of the interview when I lay the stand up side of the light post and I say certain things out of her mouth. Pay keen attention to what that lady said because what she said is going to help you to better understand what I'll be saying. Now, as I stated, her name is Bev. Now, Bev is one of them typical garrison mother day, where she have a portion to youth. Over eight to nine, probably 10 pit me she have. Most of them mix up in a all the way see a go on, a burger gully in a East Kingston. Most of you see a go on. Fear family lineage. Over the years, mix up in it. And her son was really the intended target. And the older brother ended up getting it for him. Now, the mother that was there crying. Whilst I do sympathize, and I still offer my most sincere condolences for your loss. Because an innocent child was cut down prematurely by those criminal elements. But as for you as a person, the mother of that eight-year-old child, and also to the grandmother and the mother of the man, Joel, that lost his life, me not sorry for you, none at all. The only innocent person in all of the knockings and clappings there was the eight-year-old child. Now one may ask why you said that on the spot. Well, let me give you a brief rundown. So you see, before all of that happened, the mother, Bev, of a son that goes by the name of Kojo, a kojo really at the cast of all I want to see a go on. So as I stated in the previous vlog, and if you don't watch it as yet, please go watch it now so you can get a better understanding. So as for the previous vlog, I made mention that Joel was in the community to bury his father the Saturday. So Saturday were gone, Joel buried him father 
and Sunday, the knockings and clappings go on. Now, I stated in that vlog that the two criminal elements presently on your screen, 19-year-old Kaleem Campbell and Omar Lawrence, come down there and knock it and clap it through the zinc fence and the stray car and them eat the little baby food. Now, it wasn't just a random knockings and clappings by them two here. Yeah. It was more so a shootout between them and men behind the fence. So the female wanna see in the star we a ball and a holla. Well I know say fear set a criminal elements them from in a fidem yard. Did I knock it and clap it back? Because when I look on the whole thing, you know, under normal circumstances, a man now just a bead shot, just so, pan zing fence. Them actually come make the step for niam two man food with the right at the yard gate there, so. And when the man them see them approach, the man them step in at the yard and start put it pan them and the man them just start put it back through the zinc fence and I saw the little young one get can up. So it's not as how it may seem. So that is why the grandmother and the mother of the man will end up losing three pints. Take a step back and I whisper certain things. Say I know Joel them come for his other son we want to be the dan. Now I made mention of a youth but them did the runway out of the year in the previous vlog. And I him come back and strap up the place. Now that youth is the infamous Kojo. And before Kojo father lose him life, his father would have begged the dons in the era for taking back him son in the place. And as him son come back in the place, he want to assume danship. Yeah, man. So basically, at that, kick off back the wall, 17 lane, war. Now, I made mention that Joel was an innocent bystander. He was probably innocent at the time he lose him three pints. But he was not an innocent man by a long shot. Now back in the days, he used to knock it and clap it too. Yeah man, from in the mid 2000 to the late 2000, so up to 2010, Joel and knock it and clap it in the place. So it's just feeb all sins. Come catch up back pan him. Because he also have sons who is heavily involved in the war on a Sea Guan down in a burger gully day, 17 lane. Yeah man. So I just saw the whole thing went down. And the same people them wanna see a ball and a wheel pan the star. A them same one pick up this pencil them. From them set of criminal elements. So when the police them come now, them can cry them cow tears and make it seem as if it's just two random youth come from out of nowhere, come murder the eight year old for nothing at all. So as I've always stated, my peeps, there is always more to the story than what actually meets the eye. Yeah, man. So we are going to also kick it over there in the parish of St. Elizabeth. We are going to talk about another whole dirty kind of boy who is presently on your screen right now. Who goes by the name of Seymour Mullins. Now I covered a story last year September 
where Seymour Mullins was accused of taking the life of this little youth here presently on your screen, who has since been identified as Tevel Beckford, otherwise known as Tay, where they had a verbal confrontation turn physical and Seymour Mullins end up take him life in a yell of bullets over what some may say is a weed board. Yeah, man. So the youth have him weed board. Seymour want to use him weed board. And the youth say, no. And I write this, so. clam, clam, clam. And him name the youth food just like that. So Seymour Mullins was on the run from last September. He was recently caught by the police in Tavern and was being held at the Alpha Tree police station. However, he was handed over to the St. Elizabeth police to answer to charges. But Seymour Mullins from Giantwood St. Elizabeth didn't only take the life of the youth known as Tevel Beckford. But he also took the life of this man presently on your screen. The man whose bar it all started in. He has since been identified as Jerome Wallace. But more popularly known in the streets as African. He took that man's life also because he was fearful that that man may give testament of what he saw in his business place. So this is how these criminal elements go to work. Them do them crime and because somebody see them, them go do another crime and try to cover up for them first crime and understand that them just a build more crime. It's just a pity that a walk out him get and I never chalk out. Now we get to understand say, him have a strap lock over him yard that his brother whose name is Fergus presently on your screen used to lock it for him so when him come and St. Elizabeth him have that strap there so him can go link him brother him brother go dig it up from wherever them keep it and hand it to him and him just continue for walk with him strap in the area so the police them got word of what was happening in terms of the firearm being kept at the house by his brother. So the police took him to the house for search feet. But somewhere, somehow, the brother got word that the police was on their way. And he took the firearm and left the premises and has not been seen or heard from since. So Fergo, we don't know say you have seen more strap. So it would be wise of you to hand over that strap I left it somewhere where the squad of them can go find it. And hand over yourself also with it. Seymour was lucky enough to be caught by the half a tree police who really didn't know him. Them just pick him up as a strange man in a tavern. And Cam go check him out and find out what wanted. You on the other hand may not be so lucky. And I just hope that Officer Yeman pick and team and your yai make four. Yeah, man. Because Yellow Yam will be the other of the day. Grung. A word to the wise. So anyway, my peeps. Remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscasts. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.